Hey, welcome back. Today we're gonna test the i7-930. This is a four core CPU with eight threads running on 2.8 gig. We're gonna see how it's running thanks to our uh, RTX 3060 Ti. We will, we will have no bottleneck and uh, hopefully we'll, we are going to max out this CPU. I'm gonna throw it in a couple of games and see what this CPU can do in 2023. Okay, let's start with Fortnite. I put it on uh, performance mode. I think it's on performance mode. Yes, it's on performance mode with low details. Okay, let's jump in and see how it's running. Yeah, look at this. Look at this i7-930. So, considering this is a 130 watt CPU, the temperature is quite good, you know? The difference is that I activated the to show you the threads because I know I had a problem in GTA 5 uh, with a couple of CPUs like this and I didn't know what was the problem you know even though the core core was not loaded the threads were fully loaded so because this one has four cores it's got eight threads you know so two four six eight threads activated I tried to change the color so you can distinguish them so yes let's have some fun see how the CPU is working because this is the way in important thing about this you know the cpu not the gpu who cares about an rtx 3060 ti with an lga 1366 cpu there's a lot of performance from the cpu i'm not gonna lie seriously 111 100 over 100 fps as average i will take it all day this is a fantastic performance you know it's uh, showing me that the cpu can do the job the minimals and one percent you're not very adequate but i'll take them have so many fps with this uh, cpu but the only problem is look at the look at the core it's maxed out and damn it it's maxed out all the threads everything is maxed out on average with 100 fps the cpu is doing the job but there is some cases with minimal is dropping below 30 like uh, look it's 13 now like 1% is okay, you know, with 50, 51 FPS, you know, but the, the core usage, it's uh, it's a bit maxed out, you know, and the threads, it's like, you, you can see that they barely managed to be below 100%. All right, let's test GTA 5. I think GTA 5 will give us uh, the true uh, answer when it comes to CPU. I'm gonna keep it on DirectX 10, go on 1080p. Everything on the normal details. We're gonna have some fun. Let's go to the casino and see how we are running. Oh my f days. What the f is going on? Okay, so 27 FPS. 27 FPS with uh, with the CPU. It's kind of interesting, seriously. 26 FPS, minimal 14. It's kind of weird to see the CPU like this, seriously. Even though it's got no CPU core load and the threads are only picking a couple of them to maximum i still don't understand why it's lagging seriously look at it low frequency i don't know system memory is like 9 gig 9.8 it's got enough system system memory what's wrong what do you need i don't get it seriously all right let's spin inside the casino is doing the nearly similar not a t-shirt <laughs> t-shirt the gpu is not fully loaded yeah i got how many F fps 30 fps on average yeah the gpu is not loaded it's only 30 percent loaded yeah it's got uh, oh, 50 percent vram usage yeah so what is the problem with it i think uh, it's not for gta 5 the cpu i don't know 26 29 fps gta 5 actually the game knew to put it on 800 by 600 actually let's put it like this settings graphics 800 by 600 the game said 800 by 600 frame time 30 damn this cpu is bananas on the lowest resolution the frame time it's it's it's, it's kind of weird you know even on maximum, I mean 1080p. Weird as hell. Okay, let's see okay, how much we have averaging. If the minimals and the one percent is still the same, then it's not. Then I think it's I think it's something else, you know. 
will be looking for uh, a different game to see how it's performing. Maybe we could, maybe, maybe if we find a game that benefits from the video card, it's much better. Okay, let's try uh, Cross Out. Cross Out has got a lot of features that are uh, good for this uh, CPU. I mean, it's using the video card and it's not stressing the CPU. So I think we are on high details. I don't even know what's going on here. Motion blur. Put it on highest details. This is a preset, yes? Full screen. Uh, the Nvidia DLSS, I'll put it on auto. I'm not complaining, you know, if he, if it's helping the CPU, it's gonna help the CPU. And that's it. Uh, legacy GPU compati compatibility, it's off. Awesome performance. You know, the core on the CPU is around 50%. There's nothing to complain here. The GPU is doing its job. And uh, everything is good. Oh, he missed me. Oh, you missed. You missed, you plonker. He had dynamite stick in front of him and he was like about to hit me. All right, averaging 100 FPS and still going. I love the threads, how they are <laughs> reaching maximum, maximum usage. Hopefully it doesn't lag under 100 FPS. What do you mean you're losing ground? No! Oh, sh**. What the heck? I was the only idiot in here that managed to put yourself... Oh, you all died. I wanna see the system RAM. I wanna see some minimals. I wanna see one, some 1% 1 values, you know? It's just so fast, you know, the pace of this game, seriously. The biggest pile of players, I'm staying there. That's it. No! No, he managed to get me now. But uh, <laughs> I appreciate the performance. Look at it. 54 minimal. Who's shooting me? Damn. All right, let's try CSGO. Oh, this is going to be interesting to see this uh, game in... Uh, in a system like this. Shit, the level. The level of spikes is real in this one. Oh. Oh my god, the minimals in 1% are horrible. Not very snappy, but uh, at one point I have to get used to it. Really. 98 HP he took from me. Alright, managed to do two kills and I get the regen. Fantastic. Okay, so hundreds of FPS with minimals and 1%. 10, 11. That's not okay. <laughs> but what's lagging? The threads, I think. Look at it. They are both. They are reaching maximum. Maximum capacity on the threads. How much system, system RAM are you using? Nearly 7 gig of system RAM. Alright. I accept you. No. Seriously. How fast they are. I'm fast too. Okay, this is my personal uh, preference, uh, No Man's Sky. I want to see how this game is performing with this uh, Z400, with this CPU, i7-930. Uh, I'm going to take a look and see on the settings. I'm going to put it on standard, low, apply, and restart the game. Oh my god, it looks so cool. Very mesmerized about this. I like that the GPU is doing some job here with 41% uh, on the VRAM. I like that, you know, it's helping the CPU, it's giving it a hand, you know, from 16 gig of system RAM, it's using nearly 10 gig of system RAM, and that's fantastic. I love the whole idea that uh, I can actually play this game with this video card. All right, let's take a look and see what we can do more here. Let's take a look and see how we can uh, stress more the CPU, because I like the idea. Oh, you can actually see the threads now, pimping. 
being used at maximum. There's a base there. Unknown building. We're gonna land here around. I'm gonna take a look and see what's going on here. 60 FPS on average. All day I'm going to take it. Let's see what we can do here. I think we can save the game here. No? Yes. It looks good, you know? Very abnormal. <laughs> <laughs> but on low details it's not very fun to play the game but just in case you know you have an i7 930 you know with a proper video card you can actually play the game you know it gives you 65 fps not a, not as as expected when it comes to minimal you know only 69 10 <laughs> minimals because look at the threads you know majority of them they are reaching maximum you know and there's sometimes time to time you can get those spikes and uh, not not funny one i like how it's working with this game it's very important uh, uh, from my perspective to understand how this cpu is holding in this game because uh, it's an old cpu and this is fairly uh, how shall i say demanding when it comes to the hardware and uh, I really like how it's performing in No Man's Sky. But uh, I have an RTX 3060 Ti and I think it's helping a little, you know, it's nearly half of the, the VRAM is used from this video card. So I think with a four gig video card, this system can actually deliver the performance in No Man's Sky. So there is games that can actually work. Let's test uh, World of Tanks. In order to do this uh, test properly, we're gonna max out the game on Ultra. The game can be pushed because I have an RTX 3060 in the T, uh, in the system. So let's see how it's running. Max detail has nothing on this computer. Seriously, look at the the CPU. How brave it is! I freaking love the performance. Seriously, 60, 40, uh, 60 FPS. You know, it's averaging properly. Not expecting more or less the only thing i want is good uh minimals and one percent the threads are uh, singing there like pistons you know you can actually see they are a, a bit stressed you know the system ram it's uh, it's a bit low you know you actually expect at least half of the system ram to be used with this maximum details and the vram yeah it's used half of the vram from this video card in order to offer this uh, amount of um, details it's good it's very good it looks really nice actually seriously oh my god you're all here Misfire. No! It. Oh. Actually, the right side was dead. Damn, I just only see it now. At least we can actually appreciate uh, the performance. Oh man, those threads are maxed out, seriously. I think uh, if I put it on medium details, the, the, the GPU and the CPU will do a proper job, you know. You can actually see how they are uh, reaching maximum, 90-100%. I activated those uh, red lines so I can see the last spot and look how many they are in the last spot. I think for the price that uh, I paid for this uh, CPU that was less than 10 pounds, I think it's a fantastic uh, idea, you know, to restore a computer, to use an old computer, to have an office computer, retro gaming. Look, it's even working with some uh, newer titles. I mean, they are not new titles, they are old games, you know, but they are still present, you know, and there's a lot of people online, so you can play them. You know, for this situation, for this uh, type of entertainment, I think it's okay. You don't need an RTX 3060 Ti to push those performance. But uh, you realize that you need like a 4 or 6 gig of VRAM and you can have a lot of fun. So, yes, from my point of view, this CPU is valid because it's, it's low on the price. Now, if you can manage to build a system around it, then it's worth it.
but cheap. It's worth it only cheap. That's it.